Hey, what is going on guys? D-Legend here. We have a few updates for reset for the week, and I wanted to go through a couple of them with you guys while I had some time. Um, videos here and there will be sporadic because of my work schedule and stuff, but I, whenever I have time, I will try my best to make videos for you guys. Um, so let's start off with the new Supernova deal. Well, it's not new, but it is available again um, here for just one day, and it's one pull only. And you do get an opportunity to get a tier 8 or tier 9 super, uh, metal that can be upgraded to Supernova Plus. So basically any, any of the newer metals, um, as, as well as the older Supernova metals, like the first one, Cephi, uh, Carrot 20, I mean Carrot 19, um, as well as Dark Riku and stuff like that. So there you have it. Uh, some people get some really, really good luck with these. They get like Pirate Sora, they get... Um, uh, copy metals and get whatever they want but some people just don't have the best luck with this and so I stay away from it personally um, I don't have an excess of jewels at all but so that's why I choose to stay away from it anyways um, there is also the returning supernova uh, deals so there's Marley here there's gonna be a guardian form and there's going to be angelic amber and I do want to talk about those deals a bit further and there's also obviously the uh, older ones too so there's Carrot 20, there's uh, Blitzform Sora, and then there's Cephi. Um, so Cephi is the only tier 8 metal here out of the bunch, and although he does have probably the highest uh, base strength out of all of them, he is a tier 8 metal, so he will technically do a little bit less damage than the other ones um, if you're looking at just the guilt percentage, but obviously you have to take into account their multipliers and stuff, and their strength, so... Um, I personally would not pull on Cephi. I wouldn't, I don't have Blitzform, so I wouldn't pull on that. I wouldn't pull on Kier at 20. Um, probably wouldn't pull on Marley either or Guardian Form. Uh, I would, however, pull on Amber. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's because Amber is a copy metal and it does have 25,000 base strength, including Chips and Dales, obviously. Um, so. It's, it's still a very useful metal in my opinion, and you do, like, each pull guarantees two trait metals, um, a Kingdom Hearts 3 metal, some VIP coins, and um, some mirrors, I guess, so those are all, like, little bonuses, but the trait metals are what I'm really going for here. Let's look at the draw odds here real quick. Um, so you do have a 0.26% chance to get a Supernova Plus metal, which is pretty good, and if you look at, like, other banners, let's say you actually have a lower chance of pulling a supernova metal from these than you do from this. Obviously, there's the five mercy for amber or for the other metals in the, in the respective deals, but um, the fact that you can pull a supernova metal from these and the fact that you can, I'm pretty sure you can probably get the newer metals too, probably, uh, maybe not, Marley, Leonard. Um, you can get Anti-Aqua, but yeah, it doesn't look like you can get, um, one of these, get, like, uh, Ventus here or Terra, but that's okay. Um, I would still consider pulling on this, um, if you guys are interested in getting yourself some trait medals for one of these medals. Um, for me personally, Amber is a medal that I want to get good traits on because I do have plus 2,000 strength as a pet trait, which is awesome but I only have ground and strength as useful traits um, on this metal itself right now. So hopefully I get aerial or I get uh, extra attack or some more strength traits with just one pull. Um, obviously that's only two more trait rolls, but it is what it is. I will see what happens. I'm not going to do the pulls right now for that banner because um, it is July 29th now as I make this video. And that means there's only two days left in this month and there's seven days left in this banner. And... VIP coin wise, I would hold off because there's nothing I really want from VIP, uh, the VIP boards at the moment. I used up all my VIP coins already as well, um, early in the month for Anti Aqua, as well as a couple traits for uh, Youth and White here. And then I think I picked up three of each of these just in case I get them in the future. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't have any other VIP coins. I don't really have anything I really want. VIP coins for at the moment, so I'm gonna wait till the month of August before I pull on that banner. If I do pull a button on that banner, um, just to get the VIP coins for August instead of July. 
Um, another reason why I wouldn't pull is just because of what is to come. There's going to be Ultimate Form Sora if you watched my last video. And Xemnas, I don't remember what Xemnas' name was, Kingdom Hearts 3 Xemnas of some sort. Um, but yeah, I would definitely consider playing on Ultimate Form Sora if it becomes a banner this Friday. But again, that depends on if it's a mercy, if it's not. I also only have 16k jewels, plus whatever I'm picking up in my inbox here. So let's have a look here real quick, and then I'll do my ticket pulls, my ticket pulls and then I will leave you to it. That's a decent amount of jewels. Okay, so we're at 19k now. Pretty good. Um, obviously still gonna save and just hold off, but let's do our ticket draws here. And these are from the new part four event for the anniversary. I mean, not the anniversary, the uh, 10 million downloads, by the way. So old Princess Jasmine there. Fitting, because Aladdin came out recently. Or the live action of Aladdin came out recently. And I still haven't seen it, but I hope I will soon here. Okay, so we got Illustrated Riku B. Not very useful at the moment. Hopefully, maybe it'll be one of the medals that can be um, upgraded in the future here. But we're hoping for some 7 stars here. Let's get something good. Maybe a Supernova medal or two. Goofy. Atlantic Sora, Atlantica Sora, Nipple Sora, as Smelly Octopus says. Okay, there we go, a seven star. Ooh, Shion. Not the worst pull in the world. Could be useful if Shion is ever, Illustrated Shion is, uh, EX is ever made into a upgradable metal. Which I hope they do in the future. That'd be super cool. Aerith, the original buffer, one of the original buffers. And our last ticket pull four now. Let's do it on the word S capacity. But actually, honestly, it does help me sometimes. So we'll see what happens here, but probably a three star medal, but yeah, four star medal. Yeah, Kyrie, not the one I want, but Kyrie nonetheless. All right, that is the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helps you guys decide what you want to do with your jewels um, in the upcoming, in the in the near future here. Um, I personally would just hold off until at least August before pulling on any of these banners. I don't want to pull on this because the odds of getting something good are pretty garbage in my opinion. Where's the guaranteed part? So these are the guaranteed medals that you can get. And there is a 3% chance for each of them, basically. But I really don't want to get shafted and get like something I really don't need, like another youth in black or youth in white, or um, what else is there that I don't want? Zeus or Garden Form or Marley. I the only medals I re really want from this would be Supernova Kingdom Hearts Three Kyrie B or Supernova Shion, or maybe one of the copy medals again. But I, again, without traits, they're pretty much useless. Um, I take. Pirate Sora, I'd take another anti aqua, I guess, but nothing else really catches my eye either, so I'm just gonna hold off and save my jewels. Golden Reel, save your jewels. Anyways, catch you all soon, guys. Peace.